Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Assembly Lines Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Torrance. Today, I thought I'd take you on a quick tour of my Apple IIs that I have around my house, show you where I do my work, and just show you what my collection is. So first let's go into the basement and this is where I keep my stash of extra Apple IIs and things that I'm working on. So you can see here's my work area over here. Here is my Apple II Plus and this is the one that uh, my family and I got back in about 1981 and so it still works great. So you can see it's a II Plus, I got 64K of memory in there. So here we've got a Disk 2 interface card hooked up to the two Disk 2s. I have a Videx lowercase and 80 column card here in slot number 3. And then in slot 1 I've got a Super Serial card so I can hook up to ADT Pro. And then finally, in slot zero, I've got a 16K language card. And this is the one that I've hacked the ROM on it to support lowercase characters. We had to replace the motherboard once, uh, sometime probably around 1982. I don't remember exactly what was wrong with it. This one is marked, if I can read it, 8135 down there. So that would be the 35th week of 1981. I've got a little volume control here that I 3D printed uh, this little stand for it and just put this switch and it goes to 11. Here's my poster from Daniel Liverani for his genius game. There is my Oregon Trail. Uh, here's my storage room in here, it's kind of a mess. So I got a bunch of Apple II stuff down here. Uh, just kind of piles of stuff that I'm either working on or storage. Uh, there's my 2C monitor that I converted to a color LCD. Uh, here's a bunch of games and stuff. Most of these I actually had as a, as a kid. So for example, there's Dark Forest. I got Wizardry in there. What else? Uh, some Apple Software Bank, there's Stellar. Invaders, Apple Adventure, and then we have the Mike McGinnis corner over here. These are all the Apple IIEs that he uh, pawned off onto me to bring to Kansas Fest in the summer. Uh, I had a model train layout going for a while, but um, that's sort of been put on hold for a few years. Here's my Millennium Falcon model that I built. So in the family room, I got a 2C hooked up to our TV. Uh, normally we have this TV hooked up to a Mac Mini so we can play movies and stuff. Uh, but we had a Chinese New Year party a couple weeks ago, so I brought up the 2C. And you can see I've got it hooked in and it's on Load Runner. So the kids at the party had a great time playing that. So let's go into the office. And this is where I do all my editing for my videos. Uh, so you can see here I got my setup. I have my... Mac there and then next to that here's my Apple IIe. Uh, so this is kind of my workhorse computer. It's pretty much got all the cards in it that I need. As you can see I got a bunch of discs here. Most of these I've already copied so there's nothing too exciting there. Some discs from when I was a kid. Alright so here's my cards. 
Uh, the first thing you can see is I got a senior prom there, so that's hooked up to the ROMs there. And then there's just a whole bunch of cards. So starting left to right, I've got a uh, Ultimate Micro Ramworks 4 with 4 megabytes on it. Then I got a mouse interface card here in slot 1. Uh, slot 2 is an Apple 2 Pi card. Slot 3 is a Ethernet 2 card. And slot 4, I've got a Reactive Micro mocking board. This is a V1A with my modifications to make the sound work better. Uh, let's see, slot 5, this is the EDD Plus card. And actually this is, this is connected to the um, Senior Prom, but you can also use the EDD card if you want to try and rip discs. And then in slot 6, I've got the just a normal disc 2 interface card, although this is actually plugged into the EDD card. And then I've also got the uh, UniS disc plugged into that as well. And then finally slot 7 is a SD disc 2 emulator card, and that holds the 32 megabyte disc image for the hard drive. So going around to the back of the computer, all right, so I've got the Ethernet plugged in. There's the mouse. Uh, this is actually just kind of a hack I did so I can control the volume on the speakers inside the Apple IIe. Uh, so this just comes out of the mocking board. It's got a volume control on it, and then it goes straight back into the computer. And you can see here's my two speakers. You can see them kind of peeking up there. So I put double speakers inside the Apple IIe. Uh, what else we got going? So... For the monitor, I've actually got a single composite coming out, but then it splits out into a composite and an S-video. So then when I'm working, I can just flip a switch and choose whether I want to look at the S-video version. So here, this is S-video. And so you can see that the text is sharp, uh, but the colors have the lines. And so if we switch to composite instead, then you can see the colors look much more like normal Apple II colors. Okay, other stuff I got in my office. Here's my Soft Talk magazine collection. Then there's a whole bunch of Apple II books. So I got my copies of Assembly Lines. There's one with the original cover. Here is one with the new cover on it. Uh, what else we got here? Disk, Apple Soft, Basic, the Reference Manual, uh, Merlin, another Merlin Manual. All right, I hope you enjoyed this tour of my Apple II collection. If there's anything that I didn't show that you'd like to see, uh, please leave a comment down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.